Well, let's bring an Army veteran, the Vice President of Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation. He's Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano. Sir, Colonel, what was your reaction on this story? Both NBC and CNN reporting that the Chinese spy balloon did, in fact, collect intelligence uh, uh, flying over U.S. military bases in February. The White House said dismissed that, saying that was not the case. Republicans were asking, where's the sanctions on China? Yeah. The president lied to us. He lied to our face about a matter of national security. I don't know any modern president who has intentionally lied to the American people. You know, when Sputnik flew, Eisenhower at least was honest about this, and, and Sputnik didn't violate our airspace, and it wasn't actually a military threat. It just beeped. But the president lied to our face today. Okay. So let's listen to President Biden assuring that all the sensitive sites were protected. You're going to hear him justify waiting to shoot down the balloon and downplaying China's spy balloon. Watch the president. We don't yet know exactly what these three objects were, but nothing, nothing right now suggests they were related to China's spy balloon program or that they were surveillance vehicles from other, any other country. The intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects were most likely balloons tied to private companies, recreation or research institutions studying weather or conducting other scientific research. But none of that was the case. The Bloomberg reporter, the White House, wanted to hide this existence from the public. Remember, they didn't talk about it for right. days on end because Secretary of State Antony Blinken was going to Beijing. Yeah, first of all, the spy balloon was a spy balloon. The administration knew that from day one. They, they watched it. They didn't watch it. They knew it took off. They tracked it. They knew it was on an intelligence collection mission. The other three balloons they shot down, yeah, they were civilian balloons. And by the way, that was perfectly obvious when they shot them down. That was literally stupid hour of, of a, a stupid reaction by this administration. And, and, and he's, by, by even talking about the balloons, he's, he's just going back to talking about stupid stuff and he's ignoring the real threat. It's, it's really unconscionable. So Republican Mike Gallagher, he's chair of uh, House Armed Services Subcommittee on cyber information technologies and such. He's saying basically this is a worse intelligence failure since 9-11. Yeah, absolutely. And, and here's the problem is, look at this from the Chinese perspective. What just happened? They violated our airspace. They collected intelligence data that's probably going to be used for targeting nuclear missiles against us. And the president dismissed us. Now, do you think that's a deterrent to the Chinese coming after us again in the future? Okay, we got Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano with us just there commenting on the Chinese spy balloon. In fact, did collect intelligence. Colonel, thanks so much for joining us. It's good to see you.